Newport Harbor Yacht Club 2018 in the Fall Gold Cup. This is where nationals are going to be next summer, so that's a, obviously a big regatta for us. One of the first things we do when we show up at a venue, it's very easy to see right now because there's no wind, but we go to a venue, we sit near buoys, near the starting line, maybe near the windward mark if we have time, and we just sit. And you can see that the water right now is going from our right to left. So you can see the rings on the right side here. It's like you dropped a rock in the water, the rings. And then if you look right down in here, you're gonna see the turbulence. So the water is going, there's the rings, the water's bouncing off. So the water's going from our right to left. So that's going to affect the upwind ley lines today because this is the way the tide's going all day and it's going to affect the starting line especially and then this is the venue for nationals next year lido island yacht club i mean lido island right there newport harbor right there cardinal rules in this bay are to try to stay out of those anchored boats the best you can if the wind's coming from this direction the south hard to do if the wind's coming from this direction more a little easier to do on the C3 course, before race one, we got about two to three knots dropping to like one knot at times. The starting line is in much glassier water. We weren't able to do our pre-race routine because the wind has been so light and the current is going from our right to left. A big C3 fleet here. We've got two boats, boat number 24 and 9969. Now the wind went to the left right before the start of this race, about 25 degrees. So it's probably come back a little bit. But this is not gonna look like a real normal start. A lot of kids on Port Tack here. This being the learn to race fleet. Okay, so you can see this fleet is barely making progress. If you look at me, look at the flag and look at the land behind it. What would you estimate that speed is? That I'm gonna say that's 0 0.3 knots, maybe 0 0.2. But in a Savit, that's a lot. And Sam, uh, Sam, Taylor, first regatta ever. He has been fast-tracked to the Savit squad. He's sailing a brand new club boat. Not really designed for racing, it's designed for durability, but there you go. And he's with the custom North Sails we have, which are a little depowered because we have so many small kids in our program. So he's actually racing with a sail that's designed for younger kids. But first regatta for Taylor, he looks outstanding right there. He might be first already. This looks pretty good. He's sailing flat. In these conditions, we actually sit under the boom a little more. So that's going to be our biggest change is we're just going to add two degrees, the tiniest bit of heel to lure. And it's because we do not want to heel to windward in a saddle. But that looks good. He's getting close. He's still sitting maybe a touch too far back, but looking pretty good. Okay, race one still. First place is already around. So first place did an outstanding job of just tacking on the ships. As the wind, as he got pushed away from the mark, he would just tack. And then all of a sudden he'd get on one port tack or starboard and he'd be going fast. He'd just sit there and just let the boat rip. And then if he got any wind shifts, he'd just tack. And he just kept himself pointing mark. Look at Maddie right there, just perfect. Little bit of lure heel, tiny bit, doesn't need any more. And there's uh, Taylor right next to him. So great job, Maddie. Started way back just because we got down current. So that start, race one, we should have done a uh, dip start actually. In, the, in this strong current, we should have been over early at about 30 and just dropped below the line at the second. I hate to teach a C3 or that. Good job. Very good, girl. You did a nice tack. All those boats were slightly ahead of you one minute ago. There's the windward mark right there. There's only been one, two, three, four boats round. Look at you flying. Look at you flying. That was What you did best is that you came out of the tack, you saw the telltale's not flying, and you adjusted your sail and tiller, and you got it flying. Look at that. You're going to round from a last place start. You, I know you were not happy with that start to rounding in the top six or seven. And nine, eight, six, seven's not making it, so you did a great job there. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You could be 15th or so there, Taylor. You've done a good job here. This has been a hard first race, like first race of your life outside of our club and the wind has gone back and forth 20 degrees. A tiny bit tight on the sail right now. And you need to go down a little. You can see the current's very strong right here. Well, not very strong. For a Sabbath, that's very strong. This is the eighth leaders here. You're gonna see how much more aggressive they are in their boat handling. So this is what we're gonna be working on, especially in the spring. We wanna work on being smart and sailing the sail properly in the fall. In the spring, we're gonna be a lot more detailed. See how 9009 is about to get third in the A fleet and see how he's got a little heel and he's just sitting under the boom and he's just got his telltales flying. 10145. You don't want to heal any more than this. See that? 9360, top 10 at nationals. Plenty of heel. See how this is? See, she's got a little bit of heel to lured. It just keeps the sail a little bit better shape, keeps the boom at the corner. It digs the chine, the leeward side of the boat, into the water, so it helps the boat not side slip as much. So, okay, Taylor, you left that fleet behind. You've made a big gainer here. Look at this guy go. Holy smoke. That's what kind of race has been. Boat sitting right there and no wind, and there's a boat right there with wind, so that's how this race goes. Here comes Maddie. Four boats have finished. She's gonna beat these two. Look at her. Just a maybe. Her leech is a little too closed. I don't think she has Vang on. And then she's duking it out here, so this was good. Ooh, look at her telltales hanging. She should ease. This is like top six. Good job. Nice job. This race is just the perfect kind of race to have where even at the start when you're behind, you know you can come back because the conditions are so crazy. As you get better at racing, you see these puffs and these shifts and you are able to hit them even better. Good job. Okay, I have no idea what place these guys are in, but they're in race one in the C1 fleet. Here's Bella in the C2 fleet, so I don't know if she's doing extremely well or not. She looks very good right there. Lee board forward, mainsail trim. Sean is sailing a little too flat, a little sitting too far back. Bella may be healing a tiny bit too much, but that's okay. No more heal than that. That depowers your sail when you start to have the wind flow up the sail too much. I think this is the back of the C2 fleet here, so Bella's doing extremely well. I mean, she's a couple minutes ahead of all these guys. Here's high five. A little over trim, Stella. Sitting a little too far back. Oops. Should have Probably should have gone a little further to tack there. This is the C2 fleet. I think Bella's way ahead. Here's high five right here with Stella. I'm gonna say she's in the upper half for sure of the C2 fleet, I don't really know. There's fleets crisscrossing everywhere. She's just going too close to the wind. I can see her windward telltale moving a little. Windward telltale moving in this means your sail's luffing. And remember, number one rule of Sabbaths in light air, no luffing. No luffing. Okay, I think that's Bella getting first in the first race. So, man, was she on fire. She sailed right through some C1 fleeters on this last upwind leg. Just sailed around him. She was behind him three minutes ago, and now she's over 30 seconds ahead of the C1 that she passed. That was a race. Now, after you win a big race, you kind of celebrate for a few seconds, but then you just really focus on the next start, and especially how are you gonna get out of the starting area cleanly and into the best wind or angle. So you're looking out at a minute and a half, starting to plan your course. you just got to get off the line in the next race the best you can and use that same speed that you just had. If you end up getting a bad start, you got to trim a tiny bit different. You'll have to power the sail up a half an inch here and there to get through bad air. If you do get race two, here's the A fleet. They've changed modes now. You see them, no, they're still heeling to lure it a little. It's a little windier this race, but you see how they're all sitting up tiny bit of heel to lure those are the leaders of the a fleet race two on saturday and then b fleet is here here's tommy rudowitz 9046 pin end is definitely favored just looking at his angle right there he was on a close reach and he was going straight through the line there's preston 10094 
six one. Now, Preston, you just hang out right there. When nine seven three five tax, oh, you good speed, dude. Good speed. Okay, Tom. Duck, 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 duck. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh boy, if you can cross that guy. Unfortunately, you just got tacked on. Okay, Preston, go. Preston should attack much sooner. Okay, race two for B Fleet. I think this is the leader here. Preston is right here. His sail's a little full. Oh, he just trimmed it in. Yeah, I wouldn't mind right there in that puff to go ahead and just flatten the main a tiny bit more. Oh, God, you can't love. Yes, good idea. Header, tap, nice. There is a puff ahead of you up there. Less than three, 30 seconds for the C2s. We are in trouble here. Uh, the wind has gone really far left. These boats are already way ahead of us. And we started to start to the right of middle. We talked all about starting to the left of middle in this start. Don't go backwards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, so every single Nine, two, six, seven. every single fleet ahead of us that started had that end down there winning after the start. 9267 might have been over, but they're going to be first. And we're way back at this end. So we got to do a better job of hearing when we're talking about what's working. We got to do a better job of hearing and carrying that out. We, we talked about starting down towards that end because all three starts before us had the leaders coming off of that end. Bella, she's already in the top three or four or five. Uh, even after that start, she's got her whole fleet all back here. And then over in the B fleet race, you're gonna see Tommy Rudowitz right there, just jived. He's probably in fourth in the B, maybe fifth. There's Preston. Preston just needs Cunningham out haul loose. Bang looks okay. There's Bella just trucking today. So she's in third right now. There's first, second, third. And too much heel right now, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> How's it going, Mike? Thank you. Again, it's actually 145 right now, and you again can see the water moving around the buoy. So you've got rings on the right side, you got turbulence over there, and you've got rings over here. So the water is going from our right to left. So again, we need to use these mooring balls next summer when we come back for the Summer Gold Cup and the Nationals. We use these mooring balls and we look at the current as we sail out to the course. Okay, Tommy Rudowitz, I don't know what's going on. They just did a start and then they made some announcement about coming back, but, and I'm about to hit a power boat over here as the current drags me into it. Okay, Tommy, this looks pretty good. I would probably go a fraction of Cunningham and I wouldn't go any tighter on the main sheet unless the breeze built and then I would I'd increase those overbend wrinkles with a tiny bit more main sheet. But that looks good. You're on the tight side. I can tell with that flat leading edge of the main there. Pretty tight on the main. No tighter. Wrinkles just got a little bigger. That looks okay, pretty good. Okay, this is race three, C1. Sean's had a couple rough races. What you do now is you just act like you're winning the regatta and you just got to come out. Nice job right there. Sit down. Oh, general recall. Sit down. Get going. That was a good one, Shawnee. 